It's a cool afternoon in early May, and the patio area of our apartment in Shreveport, Louisiana, is being prepared to videotape a demonstration of the combustibility of Chinese tallow seeds. An old electric frying pan will serve as a fire pit to contain the fire, and an aluminum pan will be used to hold the fuel. I've brought out a jar of tallow seeds and a jar of seed husks, but only the tallow seeds will be demonstrated here. I also brought out a container of starter fluid of petroleum distillates that resembles a very light oil. A butane lighter is used to ignite the mixture, and a clock has been added to the video to show the timing of all events. For the first few minutes, the demonstration is shown in real time, but later on, the video is sped up threefold for efficiency in viewing. Both the liquid fuel and the tallow seeds contribute to the conflagration, and one cannot tell from this demonstration how much each contributes to the whole. But as the test progresses, it will become clear that the seeds, which become reduced to ash, are the major source of the energy that's released. Part 2 of this video series will show that neither the seeds nor the starter fuel alone are ignited by the flame from the butane lighter. However, once the seeds absorb the starter fuel, which possibly dissolves their fatty content, the mixture is readily ignited, as seen here.
When the burning has subsided, more liquid fuel is added to see if unburned seeds beneath the surface could be rekindled, and it appears that they were. Once the flames have subsided, a handful of fresh seeds was added to the smoldering mass to see if they would be ignited. At first they are not, but eventually they do ignite and continue to burn. Finally, there was some question as to whether the upper layer of ash limited oxygen from reaching the lower levels of the fire bed. This question was answered in the affirmative by repeatedly stirring up the fire bed until all of the fuel left in the seeds was eventually consumed and only a black ash remained. Mm -hmm. 